Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and connecting with me. It really feels good to connect with you all through these videos. Today I want to talk about the hermit phase of awakening and I'm going to use more of a, I'm going to speak more metaphorically about the hermit phase. The hermit phase is like when you're going through awakening and so much of your old self is dissolving, yet you don't really know who you're becoming. So you're kind of in this middle ground of letting go of a lot and coming into so much, but it's so still so predetermined and undefined and you're kind of in this void like space. And this can be really frustrating, it can be really confusing, it can seem like it just won't end. Um, and this video is intended to give more clarity on this phase and what this phase is really calling forth. The way I like to talk about it is the hermit phase is like life is just giving you so much space and emptiness and nothingness. Like you literally are in this void. Kind of maybe the abyss it might feel like at times. I know it did for me many times. And there's really nothing, life really isn't bringing you anything. Like your relationships are falling apart. <laughs> you probably have, maybe have lost a job. Um, you might be living somewhere new. There's, you might like be living alone now. I mean, Maybe there was a fallout with your family. Maybe you've lost some people close to you. Just you're in this place where life is stripping away old attachments and nothing new is coming in yet. And when this is happening and when you are just in this space, spaciousness that life is bringing you, I know for me, my first impulse was to like go reach out, like have try to have the ego fill this space. And my ego tried to fill it with like, I, I need to get a new relationship, I need to try to get a new job, like similar to the one I just was pulled away from. And those two things will <laughs> always crumble and never work out of course. Or um, maybe it's alcohol or drugs for you. I know you know, just being up front, I had um, times when I was just couldn't deal with the emptiness and everything that was going on internally that I would smoke cigarettes, you know, because it would just take me away from it. I just really was trying to avoid everything I was feeling in, in this spaciousness. It wasn't until many months into this phase of the, the hermit phase of awakening that I finally started realizing that life was bringing me space to bring me into a deeper state of surrender and that my only doing was to surrender and what I was surrendering was this part of me that was so identified with doing the doer you know maybe we have this identity of ourselves as you know, a part of society in some way and that requires doing and, and then all of a sudden life brings us space and life is asking us to just be. It's not asking us to do anything. So that attachment to that doing personality, that, that doer self has to start dissolving and dying. And this can be really painful, especially if like me, you derived so much of your self-worth from this doing, this doing identity and life is bringing you this space and this void and this nothingness so that doer that that personal will is another word of calling it can really start dying and dissolving and letting go of the personal will is similar to an ego death it's just like we said in the beginning it's older aspects of you that are no longer going to serve you for who you're becoming it's those older aspects that are being dissolved in this space of nothingness. And 
the really the key here is to fall in love with the space the spaciousness of it, the emptiness of it, which is just another way of saying falling in love with being and beingness. When we really are able to just let go of that doer identity and just sink into the nothingness and the emptiness and the space that life is bringing us, then we're re we really learn to just love it like, Okay, life, that's, I will let go. And when we come to that place, when we come to the place where we fall, where, where we are falling in love with just being, and we don't want anything anymore, we're not trying to fill the space with these egoic desires anymore. We're just letting it be and sinking into it and letting our old identity, identities dissolve. That is when life starts bringing things in again. And you start really getting connected to your life stream, your, your really powerful life stream, and you get connected to this fast moving energy, this flow state, and it's really beautiful, and oh, it's so fun, and it has so much dy dynamism. And then <laughs> the ego comes back and says, oh, what can I do with this flow state? What can I do with this fast moving energy? What can I get from it? How can I, how can I enhance, this is the ego talking, how can I enhance myself with this fast moving energy and this flow state? And then, all of a sudden, of course, er, breaks, everything comes to a halt, <laughs> you're out of the flow, and life is, just starts bringing you more space. And this space is beautiful because it allows us to really submerge the ego in it. And that way the ego can kind of let go of another layer and you're able to let go of another layer of your old self. And then you fall back into that place where you're in love with being again and you're, you don't want anything again. And then guess what? Life starts coming at you quicker and life starts filling that space with beautiful divine gifts and beautiful emotions and you start moving fast again and then the ego comes and it's just this cycle guys the ego comes and tries to grab it and make something of it and then you're slowing down you're like no I don't want to go slow again I, I want to stay with the fast moving energy and the, my life stream I want to let go but of course that's the opposite of letting go so you're just like clinging and then of course life is just going to keep going slower until you reach a part okay I'm okay with nothingness, I'm okay with being. I don't need to do anything. There's nothing out here that's going to make me feel better. And I just need to sink into the moment, come back to presence, come back to a heart-centered consciousness. Let go and surrender my egoic desires to God, to life, to the universe. And I'm just going to relax again and see what life brings me. And then you get back in that movement. And that's, that's really the movement of spirituality when it comes to the flow state, when it comes to letting go of the ego, and when it comes to letting go of identity and desire and doing things for a reward. The Bhagavad Gita is so beautiful because... It really illuminates the point of selfless service and not acting for reward for yourself, but for knowing that you are not the doer, that life is doing through you, and you are just a divine instrument and vessel for life. So I hope that helps you understand what the hermit phase is. It's all about surrender. It's all about dissolving the old self. And through that dissolution, through that dissolving, through that death, you start to become reborn into the most authentic, honest, and ascended version of you. It's really that simple. So, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you found this video valuable. And I will see you guys in the next video. Namaste.